appointment to FEMA should be finalized within the week. I've already discussed the matter with the senator. I take it he was agreeable? He didn't really have a choice. Has he been infected? Oh, yes. Most certainly. When I mentioned that we could put him on the priority list for the Ambrosia vaccine, he was so willing it was almost pathetic. This play, the rioting is intensifying to the point where we may not be able to contain it. Why contain it? Let it spill over to the schools and churches. Let the bodies pile up in the streets. In the end, they'll beg us to save them. I've received reports of armed attacks on shipments. There's not enough vaccine to go around, and the underclasses are starting to get desperate. Of course they're desperate. They can smell their death, and the sound they'll make rattling their cage will serve as a warning to the rest. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not underestimating the problem. The others may not go as quietly as you think. Intelligence indicates they're behind the problems in Paris. A bunch of pretentious old men playing at running the world. But the world left them behind long ago. We are the future. We have other problems. UNATCO? Formed by executive order after the terror strike on the statue. I have someone in place, though. I'm more concerned about Savage. He's relocated to Vandenberg. Our biochem corpus is far in advance of theirs, as is our electronic sentience. And their ethical inflexibility has allowed us to make progress in areas they refuse to consider. The augmentation project? Among other things, but I must admit that I have been somewhat disappointed in the performance of the primary unit. The secondary unit should be online soon. It's currently undergoing preparation and will be operational within six months. My people will continue to report on its progress. If necessary, the primary will be terminated. We've had to endure much, you and I, but soon it will be order again. A new age. Aquinas spoke of the mythical city on the hill. Soon that city will be a reality, and we will be crowned its kings. Howdy folks and welcome to Let's Play Deus Ex. This was developed by Ion Storm and published by Eidos Interactive. Originally it released in 2000. We are going to be playing the vanilla version of the Game of the Year release of this. I am running the New Vision mod for some high resolution texture work. Uh, but that's about it. So before we jump in here... Uh, do we have subtitles? I don't... Oh no, we do. Okay, so subtitles are on. Excellent. Uh, aside from that, I think everything should be good. I spilled my drink! I spilled my drink! Turn the music down just a, a little bit. M mildly overpowering. Uh, but yeah. Alright, so. Uh, for some of you who have maybe not played this, I'm sure most of you know of Deus Ex. I don't think I'll have to explain this. It's a first person. Uh, I wouldn't call it just like a first-person shooter. That's like way underselling it. It's like an RPG. It's crazy. You'll see. It's a great game. We're gonna do training because we're a babby. I figured you'd be sick of drills by now. Hopefully our training exercises will be more interesting than what they've had you doing at the Academy. I doubt it. Open the door by clicking the right mouse button. The right button uses items in the world. Oh, that's that's gonna need uh always run no. Toggle crouch, no, invert mouse, god no. Keyboard and mouse. Okay, use object. How about E. Oh shit, we can lean. Well fuck. Alright. It's been a long time since I played De Deus Ex. I played this when it originally released, and it was a fucking mind-blowing experience. Reload is on semicolon, huh? Let's not look up was on, oh my god. The days before mouse look was just the default. All right, crouch, uh, we'll throw in control. Space is jump. Move forward, WS, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where is... Toggle, walk, run, caps lock, ew. Uh, strafe on alt. Sure. See various toggles, activate augments, change ammo types. Oh boy. 
We might want to leave auto run on. Oh no, there's there's walk run on ship. Okay. We should uh we should we should be good. And then Yeah. The key on the desk opens encryption based nanotech locks. When you pick it up, it will automatically be added to your key ring. Use the key ring to unlock the door and proceed to the next area. Very complicated. Oh man, I'm gonna be like accidentally leaning when I'm trying to interact with doors. You're going to get a lot of equipment during these exercises. Press F1 at any time to access the inventory screen, which will let you add and remove items from the tool belt. Yeah, Press F2 I don't... to view your current goals and any notes you may decide to take. Oh, let's see. On a typical mission, a UNATCO agent's objectives are logged electronically so that he can stay on task at all times. All right, we got a combat knife, we got a crowbar. Uh, sure, hit somebody with it. Base accuracy is 50%, base damage is 6. So the crowbar is just better than the knife. But yeah, this game has, like, skill progression and shit. Everybody's like, oh, the new Deus Ex games are amazing. Motherfuckers had no idea. <laughs> this game is so great. Although there is some, like, stuff in this that's, like, just flat-out useless, but I'm not too worried about it. Lock picks. So, like, we can't pick this metal crate up and we can't break it, but if we had, like, more strength on us, we'd be able to pick that up and throw it around. Now pick up a weapon and try to break open those crates. One of them's indestructible. Way ahead of you, Jaime. Sorry, bro. Now pick up the lockpick and use it to open the door. Lockpicking takes time and expends the self-assembling resources of modern lockpicks. Just be patient and remember your training. At higher skill levels, you won't need as much time or lockpick resources to pick a lock. The code to the door has been stored in that data cube. Right-click on the data cube to read the contents, then type the code into the keypad. You activate the keypad with the right mouse button, just like you activate a data cube or any object in the world. He just took all of our things. Use the disposable multi -tools so basically, lockpicks are for picking conventional multi locks, multi-tools are for picking, like, keypads, and you can, I think, use them to hack computers and stuff. The manual describes other uses for multi -tool. Oh no, he's levels, dead. Need less time I looted his body. To hack a given um, dude, I brought you your friend. Lying in front of you is a brave cadet who volunteered to be rendered unconscious for this next training exercise. Highlight and search him to find the key to the medical room. Afterward, pick up his body and place it on the medical table so that one of my aides can revive him once the exercise is over. Okay. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. Be gone. Good work. I'll get someone down there immediately to revive Private Winslow. Move on to the next area. I don't know, dude. It's, it's kind of dark in here. You can bet this won't be the last time we send you into a dark room. Turn on your light augmentation and find the exit on the other side. Just press F12 by default. Oh yeah, F12. That's, that's totally what I would hit for, like, a light... Yeah, uh, let's, let's not, oh, do we have, we can probably, let's see, can we change the hotkeys in here? Apparently not. So all of our augment, oh yeah, you can see it right here. So you can see all of our augmentations have uh, different properties. There's a bunch of them, and you can, like, do different ones on different parts of your bodies. Like, for example, for our arms, we might get, like, super strength or something that gives us, like, really steady aim. Uh, however, having them activated drains our energy over here on the right, so you can't keep stuff going, like, all the time. Oh, well, that was easy. Okay, you guys hiding any goodies in here? No? No. Alright, good talk. What's up, robot? Give me some energy. But you're enough of a machine to need repair If you used up some bioelectric energy getting to the dark area, for example, this contraption can charge you back up. Finding some random bullets on the ground. Congratulations, you completed phase one. Move over the ramp into the next rooms to begin learning movement skills. We'll be watching you through the cameras, like the one you can see up in the corner. 
In the field, remember that terrorists sometimes use cameras like this in their security grids to set up alarms and alert guards to your location. So you can see here, we have solutions to the puzzles. Pipes. You'll have to crouch to get under those pipes. If you fall, use the stairs to begin again. There is definitely puzzle solving in this game, to go the door but I don't remember it being that blocked. frequent. Those wooden crates are too big to jump and too heavy to lift, so use the metal crates near the wall to build steps. To pick up a crate, walk up to it so that it highlights, then click the right mouse button. To drop something you're holding, you frame rate, you where are you doing? Default. Put on hazmat suit. Doesn't feel good. The radiation. Recruits forget to grab the hazmat suit and end up in my office. Or they forget that they have to put the suit on by selecting it and pressing the left mouse button. Remember that the hazmat is disposable. You can wear it only once and it operates only for a fixed duration. Use the ramp on the other side of the pool to Esports. F5 for quick save. Oh, F5 is not a quick save. Oh, Gunther! I am Gunther Herman, and I will be monitoring your progress here. We will start with weapon familiarization. I love Gunther. He's just fucking great. Your first exercise will be to learn a little about aiming and targeting. Step up to the shooting range to the west. Already there, bro. Gimme, gimme, gimme. The targets are released by using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and take a few shots with one of the pistols until it is destroyed. Notice the targeting reticle appears when you aim at a target. Gimme, gimme, gimme! And the bullets. Okay, so. Do this. Okay, so you can see that, like, our reticle is huge. And, like, if we move, it gets really big. So. This is, at least at lower levels, you kind of have to play this game patiently. Once we get some levels under us, we'll be able to do some running and gunning, but for the time being, it's kind of a little bit more slow-paced. Good. If you hold your aim for a few seconds before firing, you will notice the reticle starts out wide and tightens as you hold. The longer you aim as a target without moving, the greater your accuracy will become. Release the second target and aim before shooting this time. Man, I aimed that time. Yeah, you can see it's like way the hell out there. And so it makes sniper rifles are interesting in this. You'll see. Good work. Now proceed to the next area. All right, we are proceeding. I'm here to pick up all munitions and equipment. Thanks for the cooperation, Agent. This is a rifle range. Here, you will learn one of the ways skill level makes a difference in your accuracy. Step up to the shooting range. Already there, Gunther. The targets are released using the buttons on the counter. Release the first target and destroy it with the rifle. Use the rifle scope by pressing the left bracket key to turn the scope on. The left bracket key. The hell you say? Oh, let's see here. Toggle scope, left and right bracket. How about like right mouse button? I don't suppose I can do right mouse button on both of these. No, of course not. Uh, so yeah, where's our interact? These are how about F. There. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see it's not exactly the most reliable thing in the world. Excellent. Now we are going to raise your skill with rifles to master level. Release the second target and destroy it. Okay, but now that we have this, fucking steady as a rock. Good fuck. No movement. As you can see, higher skills give you better range, accuracy, and effectiveness. Proceed to the next area when you are ready. Hand in your equipment. That's right. No cheating. This is the demolitions training area. First, you will learn to use the lamb as a proximity mine. Approach the bay window and you will see a lamb placed on the target board on the black and red wall. 
Yep. Press the first button next to the window and a security bot will be released. Watch as he nears the lamp. Lamps placed on the walls are proximity triggered. This time you will place your own lamp. Take a lamp from the munitions bay and proceed to the red and black wall below. If I recall correctly, you can also use these things like grenades, which is realistic. Well, mostly how I'll use them. Get as close to the wall as possible when you place the lamp. If you aren't close enough, the lamp will fall to the ground and detonate. Okay. Am I supposed to hit the button? I assume I am. I think we can also lob these things like grenades, if I recall correctly. Very good, Agent Tenton. You may proceed to the next area for more demolitions training. Yeah, see? Grenades! Very handy. The trap aspect a little bit less so, although there are a couple areas. Demolitions area. Here, catch. Uh you can use them to cheese some stuff later on, which I might. Next, we'll see. You need to breach the doors in the hallway. Throw a lamb down to the end of the hall. Once it blows, proceed down the corridor. Notice how the wooden door was destroyed and the metal and barred doors remained. Remember this for future reference. Beyond the destroyed door, you can see a damaged piece of wall. You can also breach with a lamb. Try that now. Way ahead of you, tutorial. Excellent. Notice that the vault is open. Look for other weakened walls, such as this, and your lamb and other explosives will allow you to breach them. Continue through that breach and on to the next section. The area beyond the door is the grenade defusing facility. Here you will learn how to remove planted explosive devices. Okay, what's quick save? I need to know because yeah, quick save numpad slash. How about F5? We're got into oh, I can't do any of the F keys. Really? Really? Oh god. All right. Uh numpad slash, I guess. I know it's numpad plus. No, it's numpad slash. And realistically, I should never need to quick load, but I probably will, I'm sure. In the corners of this area, you will find a lamp planted on the wall. You must disarm and remove all four lamps before you can proceed to the next section of training. You will need to move up to the lamp quickly and defuse it by right-clicking. Not right-clicking, right it's F. The lamp from the wall. It's F because we changed the, uh, the hotkey for interact. Derp. A simulated experience. Real lamps will not be so forgiving. You may proceed to the next area. Thank you for letting me know, Gunther. I appreciate. Oh, is this is that where I came in? How did I? Oh my God! Whatever. Yes, please, Metabot. Heal my wounds. Got to start the next section without arms or tools. Rules are rules. So the voice acting in this game varies from decent to really bad, as now you will you see. Will learn to move quietly and conceal yourself so that you will be able to avoid the confrontation altogether. She is very sneaky. The test is simple. Get to the far north door without being spotted by the guards below. If one of them sees you, he will sound an alarm and lock the door. Yeah, this is basically thief in 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 part. We'll be sneaky, such as it is. Remember, don't let the guards see you. Use the crates for cover and crouch when you move. Nah. I'm a sneaky boy. 
and behind the corner. Movement, sir, movement. Lie. There's nothing. I guess it was nothing. Yeah. Right. Nothing. I am the knight. Perfect stealth. Invisible. No. Ah. Okay. I want to figure out where we're supposed to go. Okay. Thermotic camo. This is cheat hacks. Thermoptic camo is pretty good. The guards can be distracted. Pick up and throw an object near them, and they will go investigate the noise. Bottles, plants, flasks, many things will work. This time, don't let the guards see you. Stay crouched, stay behind the crates, and stay behind the guards. Lesson agent. They have assigned us to be partners, and I will not stop to hold your hand and repeat myself when we are facing a real enemy. Now for the last test. You have to find a way across the river to the exit on the other side. There's more than one way to get there, depending on your approach and the skills you want to use. It's up to you. Make use of the IFF system to identify enemies. The crosshairs will highlight red over enemies, green over allies, and white over neutrals. Okay, so this is not a bro bot. You can pick up the boxes and move them around, but crouch to set them down. I don't want to have to reattach your arms. TNT, you say? I don't know if this actually has... Six rounds of ammo, okay. I mean... These are explosive too, tentatively. Oh, what is that? A data cube! Cross the ladder, lower the bridge, code is 0089. Alright. I'm sure that these, that like this text on screen and stuff is fairly easy for y'all to read because I'm blowing this up. I'm actually playing this in like, I think it's a 1600 by 900 resolution window on a 1440p display. It's a very tiny window to play this in because in full screen this game's kind of fucky on my system, I don't know. I have a plan. Ideally this will work. Plan did not work, and instead, instead shit is fucked. I don't remember what the code for was, so instead I'm just gonna do this. Haha! -ha! Why would it make me stand up? Terrible. Ignore me, evil doom bot. No, fuck off. Terrain. Stop it. Freedom! You barely do any damage. Later on we'll be fighting these things and they'll be pushing my shit in. They'll have real bullets. And they're much scarier. Seriously, guy? Jerk. Step up to each hologram for more info. When you're through, go out the opposite door. I like info. Deployment of UNATCO troopers is the central component of all UN peacekeeping occupations. Okay. The NSF, the biggest terrorist threat in the US, 
This national militia group thinks it is fighting the second American revolution. Okay. This page industries walking turret marketed to governments worldwide is the workhorse of most national military forces. Due to the heavy armor, they take little damage from ordinary bullets. If you come up against a bot, you should use an EMP grenade, scrambler grenade, or some kind of explosive. Oh, we'll have explosives. An inexpensive security bot. A favorite of third world countries and corporate security divisions. Not so mobile, but don't be fooled. We've lost plenty of agents to its well-armored assault gun. Like other bots, it's difficult to damage with ordinary bullets. Who would have thought robots resistant to ordnance? The coalition's new nano augmented agents are nearly indistinguishable from the general population, except that you and your brother don't know how to smile, even for a picture. Still in that angsty teenager phase. This is the old augmentation technology, hopefully about to be phased out. Notice the reliance on electronics and servo mechanics, a maintenance nightmare. If I had two credits for every repair manual they've made me file in my office in the med lab. Okay. Sufficiently impressive and early success for the whole organization. Thanks. You from the United Nations? Your augmentations are a go. The real test comes next. Active duty. I'm ready, sir. Yes. Yes, you are. Yeah. We got this. I'm taking a plant. Alright, and with that, the training is done, and I, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode here, and I will see you all next time when we actually start the game. Until then. Hey, you made it to the end. Nice. If you had a good time, check out one of these other series, see if you like them. Drop a like, comment, or subscribe if you'd like to support the channel, via the machine and all that. And as always, thanks for watching.